All right. So for synthetic division, ladies, what it says is x to the fourth minus 3x cubed minus 11x squared plus 3x plus 10 divided by x minus 5. Now remember, the first thing we do is we take our divisor and we set it equal to 0. And again, we're going to talk more about that a little bit later, why we do that. Sometimes you guys can say, oh, it's always the opposite. But remember when we talked about when we had like 2x minus 5, right? You got to make sure you include that 2 into your problem. So just take whatever your divisor is, set it equal to 0, and then that's going to be what we call your 0, your factor, or your 0, your root. And that's what you're going to divide by. So we have this. We make sure that our um, dividend is in descending order and that our divisor is also a binomial, a linear binomial. Now what we do is we take the coefficient of each term. And since I have a coefficient of each term, I don't need a place value. For, um, for any of them, like to put 0 in there. So I just plug x to the fourth, the coefficient is 1. x cubed, the coefficient is negative 3. x squared, the coefficient is negative 11. For x, the coefficient is 3. And then my constant is 10. So the first thing you guys do is remember the first one's a freebie. Just bring it down to the front. Then when you work diagonally, you multiply. 1 times 5 is 5. Then you add vertically. Negative 3 plus 5 is positive 2. 2 times 5 is 10. Negative 11 plus 10 is negative 1. Negative 1 times 5 is negative 5. 3 plus negative 5 is negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. 10 plus negative 10 is 0. Now, this is where a lot of you got A's if you, when you made this mistake. So the next thing, guys, remember when we're doing this, the last answer that you get is your remainder. Then we go from remainder to constant to linear to quadratic to cubic. So remember the remainder is if there's a remainder at all, and then you have your constant. So well, the way we write this would be negative 2 minus x plus 2x plus x cubed. Let me write that. So you can just write x cubed plus 2x squared, sorry, plus 2x squared minus x minus 2. You don't need to write plus or remainder 0. Yes? What do you do with these? I can do exactly that. Okay. If there's any, any individual question, guys, we can take a look at it and I can change it. But is there any questions on the process? Yes? If, let's say, my remainder was 6. If you do have a remainder, then all you simply do is take the remainder and divide it by your divisor. Mm -hmm. And if it's positive, then you'd add. If it was negative, you'd subtract. But yeah, you just take your remainder and divide it, take it over your divisor. But we don't have a divisor here or a remainder, so we're just going to leave it out. Okay? Anybody have any questions on the process?